Mailchimp versus Constant Contact. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm not going to drag this video out forever. I'm going to make this very nice and very concise and basically just show you what you need to know. Now, the, firstly, the most important thing about both of these email contacts or email softwares, I should say, is of course going to be the pricing. Now, we can see right here, uh, you can actually grab a free trial on Mailchimp and this will go up up to uh, 500 contacts. So if you already have 500 contacts on your list or more, uh, then this isn't really an option. However, if you are first starting out, uh, then yeah, you can grab this free trial. Uh, now, on top of this, we also have a free trial on constant contact. And you can do this for as many uh, contacts as you like. However, this only really lasts for seven days. So is it really worth grabbing a trial for seven days? Not really, in my opinion which means that uh, both of these free trials are kind of weak for both of these softwares. Now, after that, uh, what we can do is basically move up here and take a look at the tiered pricing. So this is going to depend with both of these softwares how much you pay is really going to depend on how many contacts you have. Uh, but with that being said, there is also three different plans that you can get with Mailchimp depending on what you want and there is two different plans on constant contact and uh, of course the more premium plan that you pay for uh, the more things that you are going to get with both of these tools. So uh, Mailchimp does have a wider variety to choose from especially this premium plan which is very very expensive. Uh, but guys, what we can do is let's just have a look at constant contact. So you can see with core, we get like hundreds of email templates, sign up forms to grow your list, post to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter all at once, integrate with your tools such as Shopify, WooCommerce, Canva and Etsy, engagement reporting, award winning live chat and a few other things. Uh, we then have plus. Uh, so you get everything here as well as a few other things like list growth tool including Google Ads, dynamic content personalization and a few other things in here. Uh, with Mailchimp once again you can see the more premium plan you go for the more things you get. So with the basic version uh, or the essentials you can basically do everything that you need and you can use this as a very basic email software. Now I used this, I used Mailchimp in my business for quite a while, uh, paying for just the essentials and I was able to do everything I need. So is it worth upgrading to one of these premium plans? I mean, if you need things like custom coded templates, pre-built journeys, content optimizer, um, yeah, it is. However, for me personally, and probably 90% of you guys watching this video, you probably won't need this, so you will be able to go with essentials and it's the same right here for constant contact. I think most of you are only going to need this regular plan. So out of these, which is cheaper, we can see on constant contact, zero to 500 contacts is 9.99 a month, whereas Mailchimp is 11. If we move up to like uh, 2,500 contacts, we can see Mailchimp is $34, uh, around about the same price here. If we then move this up to 5,000, Mailchimp is $59 a month as opposed to Constant Contact at 55. And then I think from here, Mailchimp just gets more expensive with each one we go up. So this does mean that Constant Contact is cheaper. So out of these two email marketing softwares, uh, which one would I recommend? Uh, honestly, out of these two, if like if you had a gun to my head and you, and you said, I have to choose between one of these two, Honestly, I would probably go for Mailchimp. Uh, as I as I said, guys, I have already used this in my business and it works pretty well. However, there is one thing that I would say about this and that is that to be honest, both of these email softwares, they are okay. However, they are not fantastic. Like right now, I'm currently using Send in Blue. Like I just deleted, I got rid of Mailchimp from my business and I used now Send in Blue. And let me show you the reason for this. If we go over to Trustpilot and we go for um, Mailchimp, uh, look at this guys. And I think this might put you off Mailchimp, 1.4 stars. 78% of the ratings are one star. And we can see they sell my contact details over and over again. Absolutely shocking. Uh, here's why it sucks. Mailchimp support won't help. Terrible customer service. Not fantastic. Constant contact. And if we take a look here, constant contact. You can see once again, 1.4 stars. Uh, they do have a little bit of a higher rating. However, again, people are saying that this is pretty bad. 
yeah, can't cancel account, uh, you can't, based on customer service, disappointed, list of problems. Whereas, if we go for a different email company, which is the one I am currently using, like Send in Blue, you can see much better, 4.4 stars. The vast majority of people are saying that this is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I know that this really wasn't meant to be a comparison with Send in Blue. However, guys, like I would just recommend it over both of these other email softwares. So I thought I would kind of just help you out and leave it in here. And uh, for some reason, for some reason right here, it's it's not showing the pricing. However, it is a very, very similar price to both of these other platforms. So in my opinion, it is like a no-brainer. If you really want to go for either of these two, MailChimp or Constant Contact, I personally would go for MailChimp. I just think it, it's a lot easier to use. Uh, like I can show you here, if I go into my account. Uh, to create an email, it is very easy. We would just go here, hit create regular email and then we can go through and start designing this they do have some very very nice email templates if i go here and just show you and you can see that this is like the basic email or we can add in some templates over here and you can see that they are pretty nice uh, so out of these two i would go with mailchimp but neither of these are fantastic and as i said i would go for something else like probably send in blue Anyway guys, that is MailChimp versus Constant Contact. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time guys, take it easy.